The Doppler effect is something we've all heard. Let's look at an explanation of how it happens. The Doppler effect is that sound you hear when an ambulance is driving by and its siren is wailing. What you hear is the siren sound gets higher in pitch, and then as it passes you, uh, it gets lower in pitch. So when an object moves past you and it's making sound waves, uh, the pitch will go up, and then as it passes you, the pitch will go down. So here's an object creating a sound. Sound waves radiate out from wherever the source of the sound is. So this could be the siren on the ambulance. As, as time goes by, these rings work their way out. Just like if you were in a pool and you put your hand in and tap the water like this, the rings would radiate outwards. So this person, what they hear, they're hearing a frequency. How many, and frequency is how many waves are hitting them, how many crests or troughs are hitting them every second. So a higher frequency, 440 hertz, uh, would give you a certain note. A frequency of like 220 hertz would be a lower note. So these waves, uh, this person hears these sound waves as they pass by their ear. If the object that's making the sound is moving, and let's say it's moving at subsonic speed, which means it's moving less than the speed of sound, then the first wave here was made when the object was over here. The object is moving this way. When it was here, it made this sound wave, and that sound wave radiated out. And when the object's over here, that sound wave had already gotten to be this big, and it's still radiating out. This sound was created when the object was here, and that's why it's around that point. This sound wave was created when the object was here. So the object creates a sound wave, then moves, creates another sound wave, moves, creates another sound wave. So as the sound is leaving the siren, the sound waves on this side are starting to bunch up, which means this person hears more of these waves pass in a second than they heard when they were over here. Even though these sound waves are traveling the same speed, once they leave, the, the siren sounds leave, they travel the same speed in air. But because the object is moving, these sound waves are getting bunched up. And so this person hears a higher pitch sound going by them. But this person over here, listening to this object, the sound waves getting to him, while they're spread apart further, so their frequency is lower, this person hears these sound waves as a lower note. So if you're standing here, as the sound goes by, it gets higher pitched one frequency and then lower pitched frequency. Now if the object actually travels the speed of sound, then as it's moving, it created this circular wave when it was over here. And then it created this circular wave when it was over here. At this point, it's over here creating another circular wave. And if you look, all the crests of these waves are bunched together all on the same line. It's as if all that sound energy, all the energy of the sound, is bunched up there. I make a sound wave, and as it's leaving me, I'm running at the same speed as that sound wave, and I'm making another sound wave. They're all bunched up here. So this person would hear sort of a loud noise as this went by, because they're hearing all that sound all at once. And so it's a lot of pressure in that wave, and you'd hear a slightly like a boom. If the object is traveling faster than the speed of sound, we have a similar thing happening. Except this sound wave was made when the object was here. This one was made when the object was here. The object's all the way over here, and this sound wave is not radiating out as fast as this thing is moving. So it never catches up to this person. This creates sort of a wall of sound here and a little bit of a wall of sound here. So as this goes by, this is a sonic boom, this person will hear all those sound waves at once, and that would be a huge bang. And so airplanes that travel faster than the speed of sound or at the speed of sound are creating a sound wave. And it's not like a bang. What it is is the sound wave, as it passes by you, all those sound waves, you hear a bang. But that's a continual sound moving along. It's just from where you are, there's no sound, there's sound, and then there's no sound. It's interesting to note that this person, if this person was yelling help at the time this thing was moving, the, the sound of the P would get to them before the sound of the H. Because the sound was made, the H came out of the word help, and the person was traveling faster than the speed of sound, and then the E sound came out. So this person would hear this sound backwards. So this is the Doppler effect. When something is moving, the pitch you hear increases as it's passing you and decreases as it's past you. If it's going the speed of sound, a shock wave is created, and you hear a sonic boom.